Good evening. This is a. Uh, which committee are we at here? Streets and Sidewalk Committee. <laughs> and it's 6:05 uh, on on uh, the 12th of April. And uh, Jeff Schilling, I'm going to be chairing tonight. Uh, uh, and we have Lynn Snee on my right. And uh, first thing we have to look at is the uh, participation in the salt purchase through the Ohio Department of Transportation bid. Uh, it is recommended that Council authorize the City of Troy to participate in the 2021-2022 winter bid of the Ohio Department of Transportation ODOT for rock salt because of the April 30th, 2021 deadline established by ODOT for participation in the salt purchase. It is required that emergency legislation be considered. Mr. Titterton. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, so this is an annual request that we make. Uh, there are two different entities uh, that we can opt to bid through. One is ODOT, the other one is a cooperative known as Swap4G. For the past six years, we have uh, participated in the ODOT bidding process, have been very pleased with it. Um, in your memo, you see some of the uh, statistics on uh, what we've used and, and some of the thoughts that uh, we went through to ask uh, that we go to uh, uh, out to bid or get authorization to go out to bid. Um, we have $100,000 budgeted between the street and the high, state highway funds. Um, we are uh, going to request 1,000 tons as part of the bid. Uh, when you bid for salt, you tell them how many tons you are going to buy uh, as part of that bid. Um, and once you commit to that, you buy that uh, number of tons, no more, no less. Uh, we used, uh, we have 750 tons left after this season. We used 825 tons this year. It's a pretty typical year. Um, we want to uh, uh, make sure, we try to make sure that whatever we use, we have a somewhat equal amount left over at the end of the season. That, that allows us the flexibility um, in the case where we have a uh, uh, harsh winter to, uh, uh, that we have that cushion in place, that insurance in place. Uh, and you know, then if we have extra left over, then we just order less tonnage the following year. Uh, we are asking uh, for emergency uh, consideration because ODOT needs to know by April 30th. Uh, we don't always know when they're going to, uh, uh, to notify us about a bid. Um, you know, with most, if not all things ODOT, we do ask for emergency legislation because they do like to have quick turnarounds, which we appreciate because they don't they don't, they don't waste a lot of time. So we are asking for emergency legislation uh, to authorize, uh, authorize us to uh, participate in their bid process. Okay, and we're going, we're going to try to buy 1,000 a a thousand tons. tons. Yes. 1,000 tons. Correct. Okay. Any questions from the committee? My question was answered with the amount on hand. Okay, and is there any questions from the, anybody in the audience? Um, what are we going to do? I think it's, I mean, we do this every year. I think it's a good idea. Let's move forward with emergency. Move forward with emergency on that. Okay. Okay. Second item. We want to authorize, uh, it's recommended that council authorize the submittal of a grant application to fund most of the cost of constructing a parking lot near the Broadford Bridge and the installation of three canoe kayak locking racks as recommended by the Board of Park Commissioners. Um, who's gonna handle this one? Uh, yeah, I can give you the brief and then uh, if you've got detailed questions, we can turn it over to staff, but uh, this is on the east side. Um, it's right east, off East Main, east Main Street. Street. Yeah. Uh, right sort of before, down, you, right down before you get to the bridge right. uh, where the big uh, Chamber of Commerce entrance sign is with all of the community uh, group signs on it uh, and the welcome to. Um, that is frequently used as a boat launch, kind of an informal boat launch. Um, uh, people do come off and just park on the side of the road. They will carry their
kayak, canoe, paddle boat across the road if they need to. Um, ODNR, Ohio Department of Na uh, Natural Resources, announced Nature Works grants. Um, that's a uh, uh, where there's a 75-25 split, 25% match by the city, and um, we have identified this project as one to uh, uh, to submit that that we feel pretty good that will be competitive. Uh, this would uh, pave a small parking lot, uh, as well as uh, put in place uh, install uh, three. Um, what do we call it, canoe racks, kayak canoe racks, where somebody could uh, lock up their their canoe or their kayak so they can go get their transportation. It's not a storage place uh, overnight uh, like we have uh, just installed out of Treasure Island. Uh, these are just lock and goes so that somebody doesn't walk away with your kayak as you're going to get your, your vehicle. Um, the estimated cost of the project is 38000 Our 25% uh, match would be, um, oh, I had the number. I guess yeah, that's uh, $9,500. Yeah. That was pretty good. Um, $9,500 um, that we would uh, take out of the general government uh, accounts in the general fund. Uh, we are, you do see there is a map that shows you uh, the area that we're talking about, and uh, we are not asking for emergency legislation. Okay. Questions? Um, just looking at this map, I'm, I'm curious, is this, is the entrance to this parking lot two-way or one-way off of East Main Street? The driveway. The driveway going into the... The parking lot. Yeah, that would be two-way. Okay, I'm just looking at the drawing and wondering. I'm, I'm not sure okay. that that was drawn exactly to scale. Okay, that's what I'm just wondering. <laughs> that's why I asked. Okay. Um, and then the kayak parking lot, is that going to be the water? Uh, no, they, they would be, it looks like, I think that's a uh, kind of a black square there. To the bottom of the uh, the drawing, it's right. It's okay, right so in that area. Black. It'll be okay. adjacent to the uh, the the parking lot, though. Okay. And is there going to be any um, other than just the actual physical driveway and parking lot? Is there any like landscaping, trees, bushes, or anything separating it from what looks like a residence right next to it on the south side? Um, no, there's a, uh, there is a distance between the parking lot and the parking lot will be fairly small. Okay. Uh, it's only, what do I see, three, six, mm -hmm. six spaces. Okay. So it's a fairly small uh, lot and it's not right up against the western boundary of the city's property line. Okay. We did move it down. Um, I have a couple questions. Um, who, who's going to be responsible for designing the parking lot? Uh, I mean, we are. We'll work with the company that uh, that actually installs it. Okay. Um, you know, the last couple of driveways we, we've designed, uh, specifically the uh, fire station out on Stanfield, and then the driveway, the, the, the ramp leading to the driving range uh, at Miami Shores Golf Course, the, the, the fire station we've already redone because it wasn't built to accept the heavy trucks, you know, the truck fire equipment that we have out there. We had to redo that at a cost of several thousands of dollars. And the, the ramp leading from the Miami Shores parking lot down towards the driving range, that ramp is also showing stress fractures because nobody figured out that there were going to be any trucks on that ramp. And that has several, well, the whole thing has, from top to bottom, has stress fractures all the way up and down that. And so my, my concern here is that whoever designs this thing has got to put it in a driveway heavy enough to handle more than a Toyota Corolla. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, we typically what, what we, we see is, uh, you know, you might see a small trailer with a couple of kayaks on the back, but you also might see the big uh, pickup trucks, the long bed pickup trucks as well. Uh, this is not a boat launch. This is for canoes, kayaks, smaller. Right, but I'm, I'm saying that now that we, if we build a driveway from East Main Street down towards the river, then this is also going to be a possible entry point for other heavier equipment types of things. And we need, you know, I, I just, I say that. <laughs> it's not, it's, you, you can't do that. Um, and and uh, somebody would, just upon inspection, just seeing from the parking lot down to the riverbank, there is no way to put larger craft in there. Okay, well, I'm not saying craft, I'm saying that somebody's going to use that for, you know, I, I could see this thing crumbling like the other two driveways. No, we'll, and, and we will discuss that with the contractor and make sure that it's, it is uh, reinforced enough to handle that kind of weight. The handle I just want to make sure that we know. Or something. Yeah, I, I don't know that it has to be that. I mean, I don't know why somebody uh, with a dump truck full of gravel would be driving on that. Well, I don't know either, but that's um, how the ones that, that's how the shores got broken all up. <laughs> you know, I, I've seen big dump trucks running down that pathway. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyway, we need to, okay. to save us some money in the long run, we want to make sure this thing's engineered correctly, I guess. And we will uh, we'll make sure we talk to the contractor about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and one further question. Is this going to be treated like a park that is only open from dawn to dusk or has hours? Is there any way to secure it or is it just open? Um, well, it's, it is, is this park property? I believe it is. And so uh, all park property falls under the same guidelines and the same hours. So it would have signage. So we could. Um, I don't know. Did we decide on exactly what the signage is going to say? I know we had some signage in mind, like a, little, a small sign. But I uh, imagine we can add a line that says, you know, whatever we have in the other parks. And are we planning on having this thing lit at night? No, we're not. Okay, because we've got, we've got that, the, the park out there, carriage crossing. We had to put lights out there because they were doing drugs out in, the, in that parking lot by the soccer fields. Okay. I believe that there is a, there may be a stop light or a uh, street light close to here. Okay. Um, I don't see, this is fairly close to the road. Yeah, 202. And, and it's, it's a fairly active part, so I don't think it's going to have that same kind of activity. Um, we can always answer, we can always add that later, but this truly is just a boat launch parking lot. It okay. is a very it's small be area. <laughs> okay. I can tell you right now from the activity there. You think it's going to be monitored. Yes. <laughs> or put cameras up there or something that, you know, that we can keep an eye on this thing. Okay. Any questions from the uh, audience on this? Okay. Um, I think we can move forward with some, make sure we got some good plans to, in place on this. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think okay. we can. Is there anything else that we have uh, coming for the committee tonight? No, sir. No. Then we are adjourned.